Okay, now as X suggested, there was a flaw when you export from Zara 3D into Macromedia, uh, Macromedia Flash. Now I'm going to import to stage a my shape, which is vector, and as you can see, it's I it has its graphical flaw. As you can see, this shape, it's not, it's not a whole shape. It, it's got like holes inside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these frames. I'm going to export this animation, not as flash vector, but as flash bitmap. I'm choosing bitmap and I've already exported I've already exported the animation so I'm just going to import to stage this is my bitmap as you can see no flow not nice and smooth graphics so let's call it a bitmap layer and this is going to be our vector layer so let me just I don't want to see it. So what I what I can do is I just double click inside of it as you can see it's just just a group and now I'm inside this frame and I'm going to take my selection tool, my lasso tool make sure that the magic one tool is selected and you see I can select the white area space and just delete the background and let's see what have we got here nice and clean and this is just in case uh, you want to make some some adjustment to this to this frame for example I don't know you want to change a sudden change of color to this letter or something like a uh, yeah it's it's a bit tedious you have to go frame by frame and just delete it but uh, especially it's not that many frames and uh, I think that you can cope with it so anyway if you want to make s certain adjustment to your graphics and uh, you don't want to use the load movie command because you wanna I don't know just change a sudden change of of uh, of this frame then you can follow this technique it's a bit tedious but then again uh, it doesn't contain that many frames and sometimes you don't 40 frames in here and sometimes you don't even to you have to you don't have to replace all the frames you can if i uh, make it visible again uh, you don't you don't have to make all the all the layers like that uh, not all the layers contain this flaw as you can see and you can just copy these frames and replace the existing frames and uh, that's how that's how I figure it out that's how you fix this flaw so I hope that it helps you and see you next time